Hey guys, welcome to my 26 week bump date. Baby this week is the size of a bowling pin. He is also the size of a butternut squash or a slow loris. Slow lorises are so cute with their eyes, their eyes are huge. And the bowling pin I thought was really cute but crazy to think of because bowling, pin, bowling pins are pretty um, big. So he's getting really big in there I guess. The big thing with baby this week is he can now open his eyes. So for a while his eyes have been sealed shut but this week they are now um, starting to open so he can sense light a lot more easily which I've definitely noticed. It's getting, I mean it's summer now here in Ohio and so it's getting a lot hotter out and so I'll go outside and I'll lay out in the sun and maybe I'll, you know, go in my bikini or whatever and he becomes very active when I'm out in the bright light, like he can totally sense it. Even if I'm wearing like a one piece bathing suit, he still will go crazy, it's like he can still sense like the bright sunlight. Baby is now over a pound and a half um, big. And also this week he's starting to build up his immune system. He's borrowing antibodies from me, just getting ready for the real world. This week, not much has really changed. I feel like I'm getting better sleep this week. I'm not so exhausted all the time. Now I did just come from my sister's bachelorette party weekend. We were in Putin Bay, so we were up late every night and up early every morning. So I am feeling tired from that. But I've been feeling I've been sleeping pretty well lately. Again, it usually seems where I'll have a week on and then a week off with sleep wise. So we'll see what next week brings. I've been feeling a little bit of heartburn here and there, but I still have not needed Tums as of yet. I mean, I've taken them here or there, but it's been a couple weeks since I last took some Tums. So it's been actually really manageable, which is nice. I'm still craving ice cream like crazy. I could go for some right now, honestly. Um, I just love sweets and have been going crazy for that. And I do find myself hungry. Like usually when I go out to eat, like I'm only able to eat like half of the meal just because I get full. And lately I've been noticing that I've been eating the entire meal and I've been having no leftovers. So that's been a change. I haven't weighed myself lately. I probably should. Last time I weighed myself, I think I was at like 12 pounds or something. And so I'm sure I'm more towards like 15, 16 pounds now, maybe even more. So I'll have to weigh myself and give you an update next week. Lately I've been noticing a little bit more back pain. Um, I drove all the way from Toledo back to Columbus yesterday and the whole time my back was just killing me. And no matter like what way I tried to like position my spine or my back, like it still was just killing me. I don't know why. Um, it feels better now, but um, yeah, so I've been noticing that and that's been popping up here and there and then yesterday on the drive I was also having like some left like lower rib pain and so I don't know if that's just baby like getting longer and just stretching out or what but that was really bugging me too. My headaches have really gone away. I really haven't had to take any medicine um, for those which has been really nice. I've just been getting um, just like more exhausted lately, not so much like tired from lack of sleep, but it's just like my energy levels have been decreasing. Grayson just wants me to carry him any everywhere and it's getting really hard to just pick him up and carry him all the time. It's just, I have a lot of weight on my belly and I don't really want to add more weight. So that's been really hard to like tell him no and to not carry him as much as he wants. We still have not come up with a name for baby. Hopefully by this weekend we will have a better idea of baby's name, but as of right now we still do not. We don't have a name. We are thinking maybe the name Porter for a middle name, but that's as far as we've gotten. So hopefully we can um, come up with something. Who knows, we'll probably end up changing the middle name as well, knowing us. My feet have been 
hurting if I'm standing up too long. I have been noticing that. I like to wear comfy clothes, comfy shoes. I just like to stay as comfy as I can. I do get hot a lot, especially now that it's getting hotter outside. Tomorrow's supposed to feel like I have 92. It's going to be super hot. Um, and so I'm just trying to like survive the summer, I guess. So uh, I'll show you a bump shot. Okay, so here's my bump. I'm wearing a maternity shirt, but it's pretty loose, so um, sorry, it's probably hard to see. But I feel like my belly is getting bigger, it is growing. Um, I'm definitely showing through like all my shirts. You can definitely tell like there's a baby in there. I'm feeling kicks from baby. Like I said, anytime I go outside, he goes crazy. Um, he's still pretty active in the evenings, but still I'm not feeling him like a ton of time right now. So I still think he's a pretty lazy baby, which is fine. Two weeks, I will be having my next doctor's appointment. Um, so I'm looking forward to that and just getting an update on baby and I'll hear the heartbeat again. So that'll be a lot of fun. Ohio is starting to really open up. Um, we got very excited because dancing is now allowed at my sister's wedding. It was banned before because you were like congregating, but they are now allowing that. And so we are very excited um, for dancing. And I've, I'm feeling less and less stressed about my sister's wedding because it's gonna happen. And a lot of the details are secured. And so I'm feeling overall better about that. Anthony and I are talking about possibly taking a baby moon before a baby comes, obviously. Um, maybe somewhere to Florida. Flights are super cheap out of Ohio right now. I'm not quite sure. Well, I think it's because of coronavirus and not a lot of people are flying. But last I looked, there were flights out of um, Columbus to just different parts of Florida and they were like 20 bucks one way. So it was really, really cheap. So I'm hoping maybe we can fit something in this summer um, in between the wedding. We're also going to go to Gatlinburg with my family just for a couple days, rent a cabin and just go and have a family vacation. So that'll be super fun too. I still haven't really been using my pregnancy pillow. I really should. And sometimes I do like the pillow under my belly when I'm sleeping at night to like prop it up. But I don't know. It doesn't seem to be that bad yet, but maybe soon I'll start trying to use the pregnancy pillow. I'm still getting a lot of like Charlie horses. Um, a lot of times I can stop it from happening by just flexing my foot, but that has been occurring a lot more lately. For food aversions, I don't know if I've ever talked about this before, but it's been since the beginning. Uh, the only real food aversion that I've had so far is Chinese food. Just thinking about it, like just doesn't sound good to me and it's still that way now. Um, and I used to really like Chinese food. I get it all the time with my sister, but yeah, I'm really not. It just really doesn't sound good to me. But that's about the only food aversion that I've had so far. And cravings, like I said, I've just been craving like ice cream and sweets. So nothing like too crazy. Oh, I've been noticing a ton of like acne on my legs. I'm not sure if that's like a pregnancy symptom or not, but like on my thighs, on the tops of my thighs, like I just have a bunch of like acne bumps everywhere. And I don't know if maybe that's just like sun exposure or what, but I thought I would just mention it here, I guess. I really haven't had any swelling or anything, um, nothing, no really bad symptoms other than occasional back pain um, and occasional heartburn. So nothing bad yet. I'm almost into the third trimester though, so I know things are about to go down. <laughs> but I think that's all for this week. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.